And of course, football is back. We will continue our gearing up for game time coverage. Fort Davis is back at it and hopes to improve from their four and five record last season. The Indians are determined to start the season strong and finish every game as they started. Oh, it just feels amazing, man. I've been waiting for this all year. I've been really happy to get out here and practice with these boys. These are practically my family. I just love them today. It's amazing. I've been waiting all summer for this. And uh, last year was really fun. Um, we didn't win quite as many as I had hoped for, but this year we're ready to come out strong. And I'm working with a great group of guys, so I'm super excited to make the senior year the best one. Working with these kids last year, saw a lot of uh, potential in them. We've got some young kids that are really strong and some older leadership. Um, see a lot of great things with these kids. The biggest team goes win district. <laughs> And we're going to work on that. We're going to give it everything we can. We've got two tough opponents in our district, Rankin and Balmeray. So we're going to have to work hard in order to play with them. But when we come out here and we see those people supporting us, it just feels amazing that like those people can come from their houses and see us play. And like we have an impact on their lives and their nights. And they cheer for us to do the best that we can do. And that just feels amazing. Everything from little kids in the elementary on up to older fans here, out here to watch us every Friday night. It's a lot of fun playing here. Fort Davis will get ready for the season with a scrimmage against Sanderson on August 24th.